Hi everyone, for today I'm going to discuss to you miscellaneous problems. Sometimes the proper grouping of algebraic expressions, usually with at least three terms, like this example, we have a plus b plus c, is necessary for us to apply the special product formula. And grouping these expressions usually leads us to a type which is called the difference of two squares. So you're going to see that as we multiply, we're going to use this. In this example, a plus b plus c multiplied to a plus b minus c for us to obtain the product, we have to group it first by using the associative property. So in the first factor, we can group a and b and in the second factor we can also group a and b for us to obtain this form and then after that we can apply this that will result to the difference of two squares so a plus b here represents x and c here represents y so we'll be having a plus b squared so the square of the first term minus the square of the second term and then after that we're going to expand the square of this binomial so that will be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared and then don't forget the minus c squared that is for the final answer okay, let's try another example say we have a plus b plus c multiplied to a minus b minus c so again let's apply this formula that will result to the difference of two squares. In here, let us group b plus c as well as in the second factors. And as you can see, we have a minus sign here. So if we're to group b and c, so we're going to change the sign of c. So that will be a minus the quantity b plus c. And if you're going to distribute the negative sign, this will just result to a minus b minus c. In here, a represents x and b plus c represents y. Then now we're going to square the first term. So that will be equal to a squared minus the square of the second term, b plus c. And then after that, we have to expand the square of the binomial. So that will be a b squared plus 2bc plus c squared. So just recall the square of the binomial that we have on special product. And then let's distribute the negative sign to this trinomial. So the final answer will be equal to a squared minus b squared minus 2bc minus c squared. So in miscellaneous problems, you just have to remember the associative property and the difference of two squares. And I want you to try this example and the final answer will be revealed in our next online meeting. Thank you guys for listening and we hope that you learned.